The pandemic has shown, shown us the fiscal choices that need to be made, the balancing of public health with the public purse. It has been such a difficult year for so many, and a lot of small businesses are afraid that losing their Christmas trade could force them to close their doors permanently. But could opening for business, for business cause the loss of life? These are, not, these are not easy decisions, and I know, that they, they know that I would put health before profits, while ensuring that sufficient government fiscal supports were available to those businesses remaining closed and staff who were still off. We have seen communities come together over the past nine months, but we have seen the horrific rise in instances of domestic abuse, so much so that there is a specific Garda operation for this. Why am I talking about COVID, domestic violence and resources during a debate about the private member's motion on greyhounds? Because the greyhound industry receives huge sums of exchequer funding. The amount in 2021 is said to be 19.2 million. This includes the increase of 2.4 million in funding, which is which motion is seeking to reverse. Because people have said to me that greyhounds are getting more money than women's services. That's why I'm talking about it. As well as reversing that funding increase of 2.4 million, the Social Democrats private members motion is also calling on the government to increase funding for the welfare of greyhounds and to phase out state support for the Irish greyhound industry. Why is, why is the state still funding this industry? Yesterday I spoke about the regulation of lobbying amendment bill and, it's, and it is worth noting the strength of the greyhound industry lobby in this country. The RTA investigates program running for the lives aired in 2019 and documented some of the cruel acts taking place in the industry. Advocacy groups have told, told us that greyhounds are being overbred and some 6,000 are culled every year. As people have become more aware of the industry, attendance has dropped. It is not the fun social event it once was. The public could no longer ignore the stories of drugging, maltreatment and export. It would be remiss of me not to mention previous deputies who, who undertook significant work on the welfare of greyhounds in the, pros, in the previous stall. Deputies Maureen O'Sullivan and Tommy Bruhan were often raising the important issues of animal welfare and the treatment and export of greyhounds. Deputy, Deputy Bruhan worked with Dog, the Dogs Trust to bring about, forward his private member's bill, the Welfare of Grey, Greyhounds Amendment Act 2017. And dep deputies and current MEP Claire Daly worked with Senators Alice May Higgins and Lynn Ruan during committee stages of the government's Greyhound Racing Act to try and improve the bill. The government didn't listen to everything called for then, but I hope they will listen now, but I doubt it very much. The public are more aware than ever of our public spending and the areas that they want the government to support. But as usual, the government will be behind the people. The greyhound racing industry is so problematic. The serious issues and maltreatment of those dogs has been widely documented. Live hair courting should also be banned. I know that there are some greyhound breeders and owners who adore their dogs and treat them well. But unfortunately, there are many who see them as money-making machines and weaker pups and litters as collateral damage. What about the older retired greyhounds, Minister? When they are no longer of any use, what happens to them? Greyhound racing encourages gambling as well, which has its own detrimental effects on society. Why is this, support, this industry supported by taxpayers' money? Ideally, I would like to see this type of racing done away with as a sport, but it, uh, if it must still happen, it should certainly not be supp supplemented by the public purse. Nor should it be, ta be taking scarce resources away from areas such as domestic violence, housing, health provision, etc. I can't let the moment pass without mentioning the Clare Bond interview from last Wednesday, the 18th of November, where a Fine Gael councillor, David McManus, repeatedly lied about the 33,000 jobs in the industry. I would like to commend Deputy Holly Cairns for bringing forward this motion and the, and I, the issue back to the floor you, of the doll. And I'm more than happy to support the motion and believe it is important you, for us to defund the greyhound industry. Thank you.